Our earth is ours to enjoy for every little boy and girl. But we must always be aware that all its beauty we must share with all the children yet to come who want to laugh and play and run around in trees and in the fields. So we must keep our planet free from messy trash and debris with air that's clean and fresh and clear for all to breathe from year to year. We must never, ever abuse our sweet earth that is ours to use. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Each little flower opens, each little bird sings. He made their glowing colors, he made their tiny wings, the purple-headed mountains, the rivers running by, the sunset in the morning, the brightness of the sky, the cold wind and the winter, the pleasant summer sun, the ripe fruits of in the garden, and he made everyone, gave us eyes to see them and lips that we might tell how great is God Almighty who has made all these things well. Roses aren't always red, and violets aren't always exactly blue. The society that we live in never seems to speak the truth. Smiles aren't always happy, and frowns aren't always upset. People judge too quickly, and their feelings are what they forget. Arbolito verde, que perfumas mi hogar, tus hojitas lindas, sombra me dan. Qué hermosa eres, mariposa del aire, dorada y verde. Luz de candil, mariposa del aire, quédate ahí, ahí, ahí. No te quieres parar, párate, no quieres, mariposa del aire, dorada y verde. Luz de candil, mariposa del aire, quédate ahí, 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 quédate ahí, mariposa, estás ahí. Our earth is special, there is just one. It gives us water and soil and sun. People and animals share the land. Let's all lend a helping hand. You can save water and plant a tree. Make a better home for you and me. Recycle things, don't throw away. Make everything in Earth Day. Do not ask your children to strive for extraordinary lives. Such striving may seem admirable, but it's the way of foolishness. Help them instead to find the wonder and the marvel of an ordinary life. Show them the joy of tasting tomatoes, apples, and pears. Show them how to cry when pets and people die. Show them the infinite pleasure in the touch of a hand and make the ordinary come alive for them. The extraordinary will take care of itself. Our earth is ours to enjoy for every little boy and girl. But we must always be aware that all its beauty we must share with all the children yet to come who want to laugh and play and run around in trees and in the fields. So we must keep our planet free from messy trash and debris with air that's clean and fresh and clear for all to breathe from year to year. We must never, ever abuse our sweet earth that is ours to use. I have a little frog. His name is Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water and gobbled up the soap. And when he tried to talk, he had a bubble in his throat. A long time ago, a very pervious woman lived in Amazonian tribe. She even ate children to put an end to the pain she caused the tribe. The tribe decided to throw her in the river, thinking that she would drown and never return to her. Anybody else. However, 
Anaga, the evil genius, decided not to let her die and married her, giving her a son. The father transformed the boy into a snake so that it, it could live in the river. However, soon the snake started to grow and grow, becoming bigger and bigger. The river became too small to shelter it, and the fish were disappearing, eaten by the snake. During the night, its eyes illuminated the river like two phosphorescent headlights, and the snake wandered along the rivers, the beaches, stalking animals and humans in order to eat them. The terrorized tribes gave it the name Great Snake. One day, the mother, the mother of a great snake died. Its pain showed itself as much a mortal hatred that its eyes sh- shot arrows of fire against the sky and into the darkness like sparks. After this day, the great snake with the drew, and it is said that it lives sleeping underneath the big cities. It is also said that it only awakens to announce the summer in the sky in the shape of a snake eagle or during great storms with bright lightnings to terrify the tribes. I have a little frog. His name is Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water and gobbled up the soap. And when he tried to talk, he had a bubble in his throat.